playing with paper mache when we were younger, but when was the last time you used it to create trendy home decor? Hi everyone, I'm Camille Malkwitz from craftesiskits.com and today I'm going to show you how to make vintage valentine decor using paper mache. For this particular project, you are going to need flour, a hot glue gun, tons of newspaper, newspaper strips, Mod Podge, a marker, cardboard, scissors, trinkets, a sponge brush, decorated paper, and ribbon. So the first step in this project is you want to make the mold for your paper mache. In the end, you're going to have something that looks like this, and this is a heart shape. So go ahead and cut out or draw onto your cardboard the shape that you want your paper mache to be in. So, because it's a Valentine's Day decor item, we're going to be doing a heart. So do that heart and then cut it out of the cardboard. So now that your heart is cut out, you want to make the mold. And to do this, we need to make it 3D. So get your newspaper ready because you're going to be crumbling paper for quite a while. Crumble that paper up and set it on there. And then you take your tape, your masking tape, and tape it down. It doesn't matter how much or how little um, of tape that you put on as long as it's secure and it's um, to the volume that you desire. So you take your masking tape and just tape that on down and you do it until you fill the entire heart. So now that your mold is complete, it's time to make the mixture. So this mixture for paper mache consists of one part flour to four parts water. So you combine your cup of flour with the, four, with the four cups of water, stir that and mix it up nicely so that all of the flour is mixed in with the water. You're then going to take these long strips of newspaper. Now if you don't have newspaper or don't want to use newspaper, you can also use paper towels and those actually mold a little bit easier. So you take your strip of newspaper and you stick it into the mixture, the paper mache mixture. Kind of pull that water off there and then just lay it on to the mold like so. Now you're gonna to wanna to add maybe three or four, up to six uh, layers of the newspaper just to make it thick and sturdy. It's funny because I was reading up on paper mache and I read that it's often, people think it is strong enough to hold um, a house and to be able to build a house. I personally wouldn't do that, but if you need to, you could. So now that you have your mold finished, you wanna set it aside and leave it overnight to dry because when it's done, it's going to look something like this and it's gonna be very sturdy. So the next step is to Mod Podge it and to decorate it. So now you're going to start decorating your heart. And to do this, we use Mod Podge and paper. So take this vintage looking paper, tear it into shreds, just like so. Then you're gonna take the Mod Podge and you're going to just brush it on to the heart like that and then stick the piece of paper on that and then brush back over it so that it sticks to the heart. And you don't have to worry about it being perfect because it definitely doesn't have to be perfect. And if it's not, that's just gonna add a little bit more personality to your craft. So continue to do this until the entire heart is covered with your paper. Okay, so now that we've covered it all in the paper, I just typed this out online and then I stained it with a tea bag. It says eternal love. I just wanted to add a little extra something to my heart. So I go ahead and Mod Podge that onto there, like so. And you can do any type of definition that you want that has to do with Valentine's Day. You can just do love or um, your heart or anything that you wanted to do. So that will dry on there and it the Mod Podge does dry clear. Okay, so now the finishing touch, we're gonna add the trinket. I'm going to cut a little piece of ribbon and this has a little hole up at the opening. So thread it through there like this. And then I'm just gonna add a dab of hot glue right up there at the top to hold it together. Just like that. And then press that down and wait for that to dry. And then I'm gonna cut another small piece of ribbon to make a bow. About that big. 
And then you're just going to add another dab of hot glue in the middle of this. And then take your two sides and form them right here in the middle so that they meet just about touch. And then wait for that to dry. And then the last part of making your small ribbon is one more small piece. And this is going to be used to wrap around the front. So add one more dab of hot glue. And then wrap this on around. Just like that. And then trim any excess that you have. All right, so then finally, you're ready to add your trinket anywhere you want to place it. You take your hot glue, add it there, stick the ribbon to the heart, like that. Oh, that's still drying there. And then you take your bow and then just glue it down to the top. So that it's all glued down together. And then you're gonna set that aside and wait for it to dry and you'll have a finished product. And there you have your final product, Eternal and Love. I'm Camille Malkowitz with CraftesisKits.com. Don't forget to check us out online that's all I have for you today, and don't forget to keep it crafty.